I am coming in for the last day. It's gonna be pool day on the little private lake sets. I hate to be leaving it, but uh, no fresh sign. Uh, I'll get around, check the sets, get everything pulled. And I'm very thankful to the landowner who let me come in and play. And uh, if the beaver return, I hope he gives me a call to come get them again. I'll get on down to the set checking, set pulling, and uh, see if we've made any catches today. Well, Hammer, here's your trap at the bottom. Bedded right off the end of this crawl out trail. Didn't do any good this time, but I will continue. I will make a catch on this. It says number three modified four coil Duke. But, uh, and dogless. So, <laughs> I'll get this one pulled and keep moving down. I've well, got no catch in the otter trail. That just leaves the uh, coney boxes down here to check. We'll get down there and look at that. Well, I had a miss on this box. Uh, no catch. I do have a pretty good sized raccoon right over there. I'll get this in here old up and stored and we'll go take a look at at the uh, box number two. Got down to box number two. We have scored another raccoon catch. Pretty good size. And uh, not rubbed up, but uh, a little bit dark on the neck. It is a boar coon and uh, another good one to put up. But these boxes, oh my goodness. If a person had out about a hundred of these boxes scattered out, you could catch way more critters than you'd want to try to put up every day. Because this there's something in these boxes every night. It's incredible how they work. Whew. I'm going to get this and uh, these traps pulled, get everything drugged back to the canoe and uh, get out of here after I get the 220 for the otter set. That's a big coon. Raccoon. I'll get it hauled back to the boat and we'll get a final picture back at the uh, truck. <laughs> 